After a toolpath has been created, such as this contour toolpath, you will want to verify that it's correct before you continue to create more toolpaths. Mastercam has two built-in simulators, the Verify Simulator and the Backplot Simulator. First, let's take a quick look at the Verify Simulator. To launch the simulator, I must make certain that the toolpath I wish to verify is checked. Then I can select the Verify icon to launch the simulator. The Verify Simulator shows a nice solid model of the stock which updates sho while showing the cutting tool cutting the part. The simulator has numerous options. Across the top of the window there are checkboxes which allow you to turn on and off the various features. For example, if I click in the tool selection, the tool dis display will become see-through and the checkbox will now have a square in it. If I click in this box again, the tool's visibility will be turned off and the checkbox will be empty. If I click in it one more time, the checkmark will return and the tool will be visible as a solid. I can also change the display of the stock in this manner, from solid, to see-through, to not visible, and back to a solid. You may want to turn on or off other features, such as the wireframe, the axis, or nomen to suit your preferences. I like to have the simulator stop if there's a crash of the tool in the workpiece so that I know I have to correct the tool path. To do this, I'll select the down arrow beside stop conditions and enable the stop on collision option. Next, I'll tell the system what conditions I consider a collision by selecting the File tab and the Options, I'll enable the collision checking for Fixture, Machine, Workpiece, the Tool Holder, the Shank, the Shoulder, and the Cutting Length. Click OK and answer Yes, I would like this saved for all future sessions. And answer Yes to save these settings for all future sessions, then save the file. I'll now select the Verify tab, the drop down arrow side material to let the system know which parts of the tool can be used to cut the part. Here I'll enable only the flute length. At this point I'll run the simulation by selecting the play button. And watch the simulation to be sure it's what I expect it. Upon completion, I can see that the toolpath needs improvement, as this leftover slot of material will most definitely break the cutting tool and possibly cause the part to become unclamped. I'll fix this later. Another feature you may want to enable is the simulator is the color loop. This will assign a separate color to the part where each tool has machined it if I select by tool, or I can select by operation. This will make it easier for you to confirm that a finished tool did cut the part. You can find information about the tool path, including total cutting, total rapid time, various distances the tool has traveled, and much. You can also see a report of all collisions here by selecting Collision Report. Fortunately, I have none. Lastly, for some of your parts, you may wish to see a section view. To do that, I'll select the Verify tab, and here I can choose various section views. I'll close my simulator. 